I am Anil Kumar and here is a question from previous test paper on vectors and I hope that is going to help you to review for your own test. The question here is, a boat is traveling from minus 8, 3 in the direction 6, 8 with the speed of 10 kilometers per hour. Find the position vector of the boat. When will it be closest to the island? at position 10, 2. So let me sketch the situation. We are working in 2D. Let us say that's the kind of XY plane for us. And <clears throat> what we have here is a board is traveling from minus 8, 3, so minus somewhere here, and 3, let's say up, 6, 8, so you can go 6, 8 up, so you can make a direction kind of like this, right? So that becomes the path of the boat and uh, we are also uh, given a island which is at 10 2 so let us say 10 2 is somewhere here okay so let's say this is the position of an island let's call it p okay now first part of the question is find position vector of boat so position vector of boat can be given as let's say xy is the position vector and that should be equal to what? Initial point. So one of the point on this line, which is minus 8, 3, right? Plus some parameter t times the direction, which is 6, 8. 6, 8, all right? So that becomes the position vector of the boat. Now, we need to ensure one more thing. It says with the speed of 10 kilometers per hour. Now, if that is the position vector, then what is the speed? Right there, we have speed. And the magnitude, we should check magnitude of this, right? So, so the vector 6, 8 is actually the velocity vector. Let me say it's velocity vector. And the magnitude of this velocity vector will be square root of 6 square plus 8 square, okay, which is 60, I mean 36 plus 64, I just wrote in a different order, which is 100 plus 100 square root, which is 10. So actually, this gives you a speed of 10 kilometers per hour also. Now, in case this was not a case, then you would actually multiply this by a scalar number, right, to make it 10. Anyway, so in our case, the position vector of the boat is, as we have written, which is minus 8, 3 plus t times 6, 8. So, so we just completed part A. Now, let us see how to find closest position to the island 10, 2. Now, the concept here is that any point closest will form 90 degrees angle, right? So that should be at 90 degrees. So let's say that point is Q. A point Q on this trajectory can be given by this equation, right? So, so point Q, the x value will be minus 8 plus 60 and the y value will be 3 plus 8t. Is it okay? So that is the position vector of Q. Now if I say that it forms 90 degrees, then, then the dot product of these two, I mean this direction, and PQ. What is PQ? Let's write down what PQ is. So, so PQ will be OQ minus op right so from where we get o is this right so basically it is oq minus op is that okay so that gives you pq correct so oq minus op oq is this and op is given to us as 10 2 so we are also given op the position vector is 10, 2, right? So it will be x value will be minus 8 plus 60 minus 10. 
the y value will be 3 plus 8t minus 2 over which is same as minus 8 minus 10 is minus 18 60 and 3 minus 2 is 1 plus 8t correct so that is pq now direction of this is 6 8 right so so the dot product which is the velocity vector dot pq should be equals to 0 right that should be equal to 0 so that will help us to find t instance when the boat is at short this distance from the island okay so if you do dot product of uh, this you get you get this is 6 8 dot you would actually simplify this also direction could be written as 3 4 right anyway we'll use the same value uh, minus 18 plus 60 and this is 1 plus 8t right so let's do the dot product so it is 6 times 18 let's use the calculator <coughs> okay uh, 6 times 18 with the negative sign 108 with a negative sign and then we have 6 times 60 which is plus 30 60 8 times 18 8 times 18 144 8 times 8 uh, sorry uh, where it 6 times is 8 times 1 is 8 okay plus 8 and then 8 times 8 60 40 right 60 40 so that is the dot product let's add this up so we have uh, uh, minus 108 let's let's combine these terms minus 108 and 8 is minus 100 64 30 60 and 60 40 gives us plus 100 t right so from here we can solve for t so we have 100 equals to 100 t and that means t is 1 so at time t equals to 1 the units are hours right we get at t equals to 1 this line will be perpendicular that is to say after an hour the boat is going to be at the shortest distance away from this so when will it be closest means time so we can write down our answer after an hour since t equals to 1 right 1 hour boat will be closest to the point p which is 10 to right so that is how you can actually solve this question i hope the concept is clear you can always share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best